Thank you very much uh, for interviewing me. Uh, I'm Bhavani Torezina. I'm the Louis Bisher Distinguished Professor at the University of Texas Dallas, and I'm also the Executive Director of UTD's Cybersecurity Research and Education Institute. I've been working in data security for the last uh, 28, 29 years, and I've done a lot of work with commercial industry, micro cooperation, national science foundation, and now in academia. And it's very interesting to see how the field has evolved. And uh, uh, data security has also become quite important, especially in the privacy concerns. And so, cyber security, I think, is uh, very important together with the big data and social computing. So, I was really pleased that uh, uh, Professor Justin Jen and others have organized this very, very important conference. So, so, in the area of cybersecurity, there are in many different topics, research areas, data security, network security, system security, and so on. But what is really important is the malware, the malware area, because regardless of whether it's systems or data, or whether you're talking about networks, malware is all over the place. So developing solutions for malware is going to be very, very important, not just malware detection, also malware prevention. So that's very really important. So another area that's important in cybersecurity is policy-based information. That was sort of my talk. Where different organizations are now working together and they are enforcing different types of policies. So how do you effectively enforce policies in a timely fashion as well as being able to share the information? So big data, and in particular social computing, cloud, data analytics altogether, is going to be one of the, or it's already a major, major research area, and it's a major challenge, because we are now having data everywhere. Uh, it's not that we didn't have a data problem before, but now, data, social networking and the cloud data is, you know, we've got zettabytes of data, or even or more than that. So, exabytes, zettabytes of data. So, what's happening? We need tools to effectively analyze and process the data. Now, cybersecurity data is also everywhere. There's lots and lots of data being collected. We need analytics tools to analyze the cybersecurity data, malware data, and so on. So, we have no choice now but to use big data. Uh, analytics techniques. So big data for cybersecurity is really going to be crucial. That's, that's really important. And then of course we have these big data systems such as social networking systems, cloud data systems, so we also so many many big data systems and these systems have to be protected. So security for these systems, such systems are going to be important. So the challenge here is what sort of security models so I believe we need a two-pronged approach. That's what I mentioned on the panel two days ago. Why it's thinking about fundamental security models uh, for big data systems. We also have to look at the technologies that are emerging, such as hugging, packet use, and so on. Cassandra, Hive. So how do we secure those systems? So securing existing systems, as well as thinking about more long-term research, fundamental aspects of big data security and of course privacy because now data organizations are collecting lots and lots of data as a result privacy of individuals is going to be could be violated so we need to think about privacy models and also the policy research so the question is how can policy research get into how can we apply policy research meaning that once the data is deleted in the cloud Data still is going to be there, so the cloud provider still may have access to the data. So what do we do? The data remnants. So that's you know privacy of the data and the appropriate policies, and then the risks. So 
data violations, security violations, what are the risks involved, what about the cost. So these are all interdisciplinary research is going to be also key, especially with big data in, in the policy, the economies, and the social sciences. So I think there's a lot of uh, opportunities uh, for integrating the data, uh, security, privacy, and social community. And that's why I think that this conference is an ideal place. Because many other conferences you see just social networking, or you have just security, or you just data analytics. But this is a conference that's bringing in these different researchers in three critical areas, big data, social security, cyber security. And that's why I'm hoping to come to this conference every year. So anyway, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your participation. I really uh, appreciate it. And we look forward to your participation in future years as well. Thank you so much. Thanks.